days later was reported missing on the 17th of June 2024. On Sunday, June 16th, Jay attends the NRG Tenerife Weekender Festival with friends. Sunday evening, Jay sends a Snapchat to a relative near Arona, Tenerife. Monday, 8am, June 17th, Jay's friend Lucy receives a call from him. He says he's trying to walk home after staying out the previous night, mentions it's Thursday and his phone battery is at 1%. His location is traced near the village of Mascot in Ruro de Tengo. 8.50am, Jay's phone dies. At 9.04am, Jay is officially reported missing. We have heard rumblings over the last couple of days, but we're now getting a time. So we're hearing that Lucy first reported Jay missing to the Spanish Civil Guard in between 6 and 8 p.m. So that means her whole entire statement up until that point is bullshit. So we already know that it was Lucy that phoned Jay at 8.44 a.m. on the morning he disappeared. She told us originally that she had received a call from Jay that woke her out of bed. So that already is the first lie. Then she says instantly by 9.14, she had phoned the British Embassy and the police. Lie. She then says she tried to phone the police several other times and they told her they were going to take a helicopter out. Lie. We then know that she said after she felt she was being fobbed off, she went down to the police station. Lie. She then said she went with an American woman up to the mountains and spent all day searching for Jay. Lie. So why has she not been arrested? Why have they not taken her phone? Why are they not treating this as a criminal investigation? It's crime 101 that if somebody is lying to you consistently, it's because they have something to hide and something to cover up. It's not hard to decipher the fact that if somebody has told you lie upon lie, that we need to question everything else she said, the phone data, where Jay's phone pinged, where she found him on Snap Maps, like what he said to her during that phone call is all ridiculous because if your friend did say to you at 8.44, I don't know where I am, I'm lost, I have 1% battery, I have no water, I'm thirsty, I've been you know, attacked by a cactus and I'm cut, um, why would you then wait another 10 to 12 hours before you contacted any kind of authority? Like if you were that panicked, like you say on the news, you would have honestly phoned them straight away. And the Spanish Civil Guard are obviously going to have records of when they received that first call to say that Jay was missing. And this fits more in with the timeline of when Lancashire Police alerted Jay's mum at 2am the next morning that Jay was missing. Because if he was reported missing in between 6 and 8, that would give them time to file the report, have a curse, you know, cursory look at it. And then realised this was serious and they needed to bring Jane's, Jay's parents over to Tenerife. So I just don't get how more people aren't talking about Lucy still. And just because she stopped talking and she kind of has disappeared somewhere, that we just completely forget that the main source of the truth will be found with Lucy. What you just said is completely correct. Lucy has lied and lied and lied. There's a lot going into this case. I cannot understand why law enforcement over there has let Lucy leave the country, along with two other vital witnesses. Right? And one of them has a nine-year prison sentence charge on him from the UK for drug smuggling, dealing with drugs. So they've let three critical people leave that island. Now they've called off the search and then they went back and searched done a search of the Airbnb. Why? Are they backtracking now to cover their, cover everything? Cover their backs? Why? Why now? Anyway, if you need to, want to know more about this case, 
Come and follow me on my channel every night, Crime and Justice at 8 pm. Come and subscribe, come and join in, and leave me your comment and let me know what you think. Until then, thank you for being here.